Good morning, friends. I hope you are ready for a fantastic day. I know that I am. We just have a couple of days of lessons left. I told your moms and dads on Facebook today that I am going to be recording three more videos today, Thursday, and Friday, and then you guys are probably getting ready for your summer vacations. So we've got a few more days of fun together. So this morning we are going to greet each other with good morning in French, and this is bonjour. So let's practice bon jour. Great job, bon jour. Excellent. Now all together, bonjour. Bonjour. Wonderful. Now turn to the person on this side and say bonjour. And turn to the person on this side and say bonjour. And how about saying bonjour to Mrs. Ferguson? Oh, bonjour everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. So I'm going to say bonjour to a few of my friends. Bonjour, Ella. Bonjour, Chase. Bonjour, William. Bonjour, Solo. Bonjour, Eden. Bonjour, Arthur. Bonjour, Alice. Bonjour, Sydney. Bonjour, Marie. Bonjour, Ariana. Bonjour, Emmett. Bonjour, Ambrose. Bonjour, Lillian. Bonjour, Hannah. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Bonjour, Noel. Bonjour, Ray. Bonjour, Corinna. Bonjour, Dylan. And bonjour to everyone this morning. I am so glad that you are here ready to learn with me. All right, my friends, for our sharing today, we have a kind of a silly question. Um, I want you to think about whether you would rather be a dinosaur or an astronaut. I think this is a really fun question. Would you rather be a dinosaur or an astronaut and why? Okay, so everybody think, think, think. Now, one of these things you could really be and one of these things you cannot be, but that's okay. <laughs> When you know, raise your hand. All right. Well, Mrs. Ferguson's answer is, I would rather be an astronaut because I could see the Earth from space. So I've always wanted to go up in space and be able to see what the earth looks like and see what the moon looks like. I think that would be so cool. And the other reason I would rather be an astronaut is I don't want to have to fight for my life. <laughs> Living in dinosaur times was pretty scary stuff, right? Because dinosaurs kind of ate each other, right? Ugh. I don't want to deal with any of that. That doesn't happen as an astronaut. <laughs> So Mrs. Ferguson would rather be an astronaut because I want to see the Earth from space and being a dinosaur is too dangerous. Which would you rather be? Oh, that's a great answer. Awesome, awesome. Well, I want you to pause the video now and find someone in your house to share with. I would rather be a mm because mm. All right, my friends, for our writing today, we are going to finish up our writing on what we want to be when we grow up, okay? So the first thing I want you to do, make sure you have your writing from yesterday and the day before, and we are going to read through what we wrote, and then we're going to figure out what, how we write what we want to be, okay? All right, get ready. Get that pointer power ready to read. All right, get it ready. When I grow up, I want to be. And then what are we going to put down here? You're going to put what you want to be when you grow up. Yes, when I grow up, I want to be mm. Okay, so today we're going to work on the mm, right? Okay, so I'm going to write, I'm going to put two spots here. Now this first one is for the word a or the word an, 
okay? Now it's really important that we put that there because I wouldn't say when I grow up, I want to be doctor. Sounds kind of like a robot. I want to be doctor. I want to be dentist. Compute, compute. No, I'm not going to put that. I'm going to say, I want to be a doctor or I want to be a firefighter, okay? And so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to sound out one thing and I want you in your house to sound out what you want to be. And remember, if we have a hard time doing that, you can also draw a picture that shows what you want to be and then tell a grown up at your house and they can write underneath what it is that you want to be, right? That's okay. That's the way you are learning in your own pace, right? Okay, so who remembers what Mrs. Ferguson said she wanted to be when she was little? What did I want to be when I grew up? A doctor, right? So I'm going to sound that out. A doctor like my friend Neelam and like my friend Caitlin and like my friend Brian. All of my friends that are doctors, I am very, like, I'm very envious of them. They are just doing a wonderful job. So when I was little, I wanted to be a doctor. So I'm going to sound that out. So I'm going to write a doctor okay all right so what goes here a yes and that's just a lowercase a we write the word a just like we write the letter a right and it doesn't need to be uppercase unless it's at the beginning of a sentence awesome so i've got a finger space here okay now i'm going to sound out the word doctor okay so let's do this one together like this d ah Er, that is so many sounds. Let's see if we can come up with the first one. D, a, k, t, er. What was this one? Yes, a d sound. What makes a d? A d, yes, a d. So I'm going to draw a lowercase d. D, a, a. What makes an a sound? O, a, octopus. Yes. D, O. Da, k, k, k. So that could be two different letters. It could be a C or a K, right? Both of them make a K sound. K, K, kangaroo, or C, K, cat, right? So we're going to go ahead and do a C. For cat. D -a -k -t -t. What do you hear? Yes, I hear that too. I hear a T. Doctor. With that last sound, doctor. Yes, it's an R. Doctor. Wonderful. Wonderful. So let's read what we have written. And I'm sorry, it keeps going off the screen. <laughs> okay, oh, I am missing something at the end and I made my line extremely long line. I need to make it smaller, huh? <laughs> I just, let's see, it's my little finger. All right, so then what do I need at the end? Punctuation, say it with me, punctuation. And because I am making a statement, can you say that with me? Statement. It means I'm just saying something, right? I want to be a doctor when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I'm going to put what's called a period, and we've used those a lot. If I used an exclamation point, I would be saying, I want to be a doctor. But I'm just saying, I want to be a doctor. Okay? All right, so we're going to read through your writing a couple times, and then I want to talk to you a little bit about how you're going to do your own, okay? So we're going to read through this two times together, and then one time solo. Get ready. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. Wonderful job. Good job using your pointer power. Excellent way to learn. Ready? One more time. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. 
wonderful job. Now, I want you to read it all on your own. And you can read it on your own paper, or you can read it on Mrs. Ferguson's up on the screen by pointing to each word. Okay, get ready. friends. Give yourselves a round of applause and a warm Oh my goodness. Great, great job. Now, we're just going to talk for a second about what it will look like when you come up with and you're sounding out your own words. Mr. Ferguson is talking to um, Puss Puss in the other room because he is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> So I'm going to erase my board because we already read our writing, and I'm going to help you sound out a couple of different things you might want to say, okay? So let's say you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, wow, that sounds awesome. So I heard somebody say police officer, okay? So police officer is two words. And you can just watch this part with Mrs. Ferguson because I'm going to show you how you can sound out your own words. Now, what you're going to try to do, you're going to try to hear the sounds you hear in the word just like we do when we do it together, right? You're going to hear the sounds in that word and you're going to write them down. Now, we want to try to get a beginning, a middle, and an end of each word if we can. If you can just get the beginning, great. If you can just get the end, great, okay? Um, and then you can you can find a grown-up and they can write in adult spelling what you wrote underneath, okay? Okay, so let's think of police officer. P police. What's this sound? A p p. How do you write that? Yes, a p. A p. And this is a monkey letter. He goes behind up below the line. P what sound is that? That's one of my favorite letters. L, yes. Police. What's that sound? Yes, it's an S. Police. Now let's try officer. Now remember we got our beginning. P -l -p Police. Right? We got our beginning, our middle, and an N sound. Great job. Give yourself a... I don't know what this is. Let's, let's, woo! Give yourself a woo! <laughs> okay. Next word is officer. Officer. Ah. What do you hear at the beginning? Ah. And oh, yes. Oh, ah, octopus. Now, I'm going to put an extra sound in this because it's kind of tricky. Off. F fox, yes. Officer. -er. Yes, an R, and I didn't actually need that extra sound in the middle, did I? I want to be a police officer, right? So even if you can't hear every sound, we're going to try to sound the beginning, the middle, and the end of the word and the letters that go with that, okay? So just remember that that's a great way to learn, okay? And when you're done, you would read it to a grown-up and that grown-up would, you would say, I want to be a police officer. And your grown-up would do this. Now, I want you to know something. You aren't writing it wrong. You are writing it right. And actually, that's a little janky crooked. But you are writing your writing in kindergarten spelling, right? In I'm learning to read spelling. And then your grown-up is going to come down and write it in adult spelling. Now, do you need to write it over again? No, you don't need to write it in adult spelling. You are writing it in I'm learning to read spelling, right? And that's perfect. So wonderful, wonderful job. So just remember 
When you see grown-ups right underneath it in a different way, that doesn't mean yours was wrong. It means yours was right for you. Okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. When Mrs. Ferguson was little, I wanted everything to be perfect. And if it wasn't perfect, it was the end of the world. And I have to you just know that you are doing it right your own way. As you learn, you write in, I'm learning to read spelling. Okay? All right, so let's give ourselves three snaps. One, two, three. And a victory wiggle, victory wiggle, and a brain grow. Thank you so much for working hard and writing with me. I can't wait to see what you want to be when you grow up. Remember to hear those sounds in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Great job growing your brains with me. All right, my friends, guess what time it is? It's hero time. H-E-R-O time. It's H-E-R-O time. Who will be our hero today? Well, today we have another mom that is a teacher. So I want you to say good morning to my friend, Mrs. Hubbard. Good morning, Mrs. Hubbard. Oh, I bet she heard that and was very excited to hear it. Well, my friend Mrs. Hubbard is a teacher and she teaches third grade and she used to teach kindergarten, but she loves teaching third graders. And so she works really, really hard to come up with really great lessons for her kids. And she does a, um, a classroom meetup every day with them and they get a chance to see her and talk to her. And even though she is really lonely without her students, she is also a fantastic mom to these two kiddos. This is Liam and Lola, and they are Mrs. Hubbard's kiddos. They are her kids, and um, they are just the sweetest, and she does so many fun things with them. They have a nice big backyard that they've been playing in, and they've been getting a chance to get outside, um, and she cooks them such delicious food. She is a great, great mom and a great teacher, and this is her other child. This is Sabina. Sabina is in this picture with Mrs. Hubbard and Lola, <laughs> and Sabina is a German Shepherd, and she's still a puppy, but she is very, very, very big. <laughs> she's a big puppy. So uh, Mrs. Hubbard works full-time as a teacher. She has her own class, and she's working really, really hard to keep in touch with them and help them learn during this really hard time where you're trying to learn on the computer. It's so much easier to teach and learn when you're in person and you can see, the, see your teacher and give your teacher a hug, right? So during that time when she is teaching her kids at home, she is also taking care of her own kids and helping them with their lessons and their online learning. So because of that, I think Mrs. Hubbard is a hero. So I want you to say thank you, Mrs. Hubbard. Oh, I bet she heard that and loved it. Mrs. Hubbard, thank you so much for working so hard to help your kids learn, to advocate for them, um, to make sure that they know that they are loved and that you care about them, and for taking care of your own family and being such a fantastic mom and teacher. For that, you are our hero of the day. All right, my friends, for our game today, we are going to do something Mrs. Ferguson did a lot when she was little. I sang a song called The Ants Go Marching, right? So in order to do this, I'm not going to be able to march, but I want you to march and act out what we sing. Okay, ready? So you're going to stand up and get ready to march. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb. Don't actually put your thumb in your mouth. <laughs> and they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe.
And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. Climb a tree? And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to close the door. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, the little one stops to give a high five. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain, bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, the little one stops to pick up sticks. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven, the little one stops to wave to heaven. Hello, heaven! And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Bum, bum, bum. Ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, the little one stops to open the gate. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain, bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, the little one stops cause he's feeling fine. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain, bum, bum, bum. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, the little one stops to do it again. And they all go marching down into the ground to get out of the rain. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. When I was little, I used to sing that song with my mom. So it is a very special song to me and I love it, love it, love it. So I want my little ants to give me a round of applause on your legs. And windshield wipers. Swish, 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 swish. And some sprinkles. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for coming again. I had a wonderful day and you make my day better just by being in it. Thank you for being you. Thank you for working hard and thank you for growing your brains with me. We'll see you next time. Bye.